this show is supposed to be about tips and tricks and, you know, advice out there. So original idea, which was, again, for entertainment, but it was supposed to be you and me, Ty. I thought of that. You turned it down. So what are you supposed to do in that situation? You go and find the person that they're, I don't want to use certain words, that that person isn't too fond of or maybe has a awkward history with. And that, enter Brie. And so in your face, Ty. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cabana Kareem Show. This is episode three. Um, as you can see, my partner is not here with me because he's going to be coming on as a guest today because he finally got on a date. We're finally going to get the deets that I've been waiting to hear. Um, so, yeah, give it up for Kevin Blessing. We're here. <laughs> yes. So it's going to be a guest. <laughs> Yeah, wow, so exciting. Right in here. It's picked. It's picked. <laughs> one man show here. What's going on? Wait, let them know what's going on with your toe. What's going on? Oh, okay, well, at 10 a.m. today, I went to the toe doctor because I've been having issues with my toe for a year. And they did x rays and everything. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, maybe it's broken. Maybe, it, uh, who knows? And, uh, in, like 10 short minutes after that, I was getting the most massive needle I've ever seen in my life jabbed into my toe and they were yanking out my toenail. So that's good. That's a good way to start this. And I hate feet. So it was honestly my nightmare. Like I was just like, I do too. And screaming. Your foot's dangerously close to me. Because Dude, it's, I know. it's so disgusting and I don't have the pain meds yet. So I'm a little hasty. <laughs> it's all right. I'm a little on edge today. We're here though. And uh, we're here. So yeah, I'm I'm the guest today. Yeah. Because, you know, if you've been keeping up, we were gonna do. Um, we thought about me and Ty doing the thing, you know, for. And, and by we thought about it, Kevin thought about it. Yeah, and for uh, good reasons, we didn't. It was good. We skipped past that. Um, Love that for me. Move forward. <laughs> we do move forward to Riley, who was. Definitely heavily discussed to do a date. Um, you know, I think we underestimated <laughs> uh, female, like how I'm just loath <laughs> in a sense. I'm just dying how you're describing this. This is really painfully yeah, entertaining. Though. It is. Uh, anyway, so Literally we moved past that. That was an idea. There's, there's reasons that, that we didn't go forward <laughs> with that. And oh. so... Moving forward, drum roll. I mean, John's not. Oh, yeah, we don't have John here. I didn't even discuss this. John's in fucking Disneyland. I'm so jealous. And Ty's like, very I'm, jealous. Not that I could walk right now and do those miles. <laughs> you'd, be the, you'd be this little Oh, lady my God, no. In no. The, I could be, yes, be and you get around. to cut the whole line. You should have went. I've done that before for, with somebody. Hey, John, you fucked up. Literally, this was your, what the this was fuck? your chance. You wanted the he date. He could have taken me on a date to you Disneyland. You guys could have went on the date. I could have avoided all this and just been a host and not no, you would have put had myself to through the torture. Yeah, I guess I would have been the second because you're never going to do it. Yeah. Um. So anyway, drum roll. Thanks for not being here, John, Mr. Disneyland. Uh, we got Bree DeWalt. Are we giving full names? That's what we're doing now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going full. Yeah, I don't think she's going to mind. Okay. I think. I mean, she's going to. Her whole identity is going to be on it. Her face is there. <laughs> She's got a good face, so, you know, people are going to know her in Vegas. Yeah. Um, so there's a good history. How did you feel when I came up with that idea, Ty? I fucking knew he was going to ask this question. This episode is going to be really interesting. Um, I feel like I wasn't actually that surprised because it's a very on-brand move of you to do. Yeah, so here's my here's advice. Here, This show is supposed to be about tips and tricks and, you know, advice out there. So original idea, which was, again, for entertainment, but it was supposed to be you and me, Ty. I thought of that. You turned it down. So what are you supposed to do in that situation? You go and find the person that they're, I don't want to use certain words, that that person isn't too fond of or maybe has an awkward history with, and that, enter Brie. And so in your face, Ty, 
that's who the Kevin date is with. Kevin lives for making content happen. That's what we're here for. Yeah. We had two episodes of content. This is the third. This is one we're really going for. It's when we're going for a home run. Mm-hmm. Do we want to talk about? I'm going to let later. You guys can get into the the history. There's really this, nothing. The to get saga. Into, but the saga sure. of Ty and Bree. Can we Bree. talk about this shirt too? Because it reminds me <laughs> of. Oh, I didn't even see the girl on it. The shirt's fire. I, I don't know if we can zoom in. <laughs> hey, cameraman, who's me, but I'm here, who's but I'll me? zoom. I'll zoom in later. It reminds me zoom of um, on uh, one of the clubs. They have like a flyer that kind of looks like this, and that's what it's. Is it a Vegas? Me. I think so, but I can't Vegas remember. Vegas club. Uh, actually, this uh, a guest of mine <sighs> from work. The toe. Oh, did you see the toe? She's Literally, I'm dying. A guest of mine from work actually gave me this. They sent it to me. It's a couple that comes in there. Shout out Phil, my guy. Thank you so much for the shirt. I think it's pretty fire. Yeah, it's dope. You're liking that, right? Yeah. I looked in the closet. I was like, this is the one. I was going to wear it last episode, but no. Yeah. This is the one. I almost wore my pants like yours today. I should have coordinated with you. <laughs> so I'm going to be checking my phone a little bit because like, she's going to be showing up Also very same soon. because I have my questionnaires on here for you guys. Ooh, yes. Well, questions are going to come later. All right, so anything else or should I get into... Should I get into the date? Because that's what we're doing here. I'm yeah, giving, let's get into it. We're going to give my full account of how, not necessarily a blind date, but how a first actual real date for me went. Okay, let's do it. So first off, I wake up and I'm panicked. Mm-hmm. Let's start there. Wake up the day of the date and right away I'm just, it comes in my head like you have to go on a date later. And this is, you know, this is like 10 hours before, but... Already, it's just setting over me. Like, I got things I might want to do later. I'm looking at my texts. I wake up like, hey, like we're doing this, yada, yada. It's, it was on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. You know, what do I do on Sundays? Ritually go to John Cutter. Yes, I do. And now every and Sunday. That was my first question. I was like, so did you still go to John Cutter? Because I was like, there's no way that you would go on a date and not go to John Cutter. Yeah. I'm sh- you know, he so still ended up going. Yeah. We'll, we, we'll talk about that. I did make it. Um, I, uh, so that, that already, like right when I wake up, I'm just already thinking I'm, I'm happy I'm doing this. This is for, it's not just for the show. I, you know, I'm, I wanted to go on the date, but when the actual day, everything's cool the night before, then the day comes and you're just, for me at least panic. But anyway, we move forward. So I had to work that day. I had a busy day, but also as I'm setting this date up, funny enough, I felt like the universe was just reminding me of why I don't date. And I've got some examples for that. Okay. So first I go to get chairs. I wanted to get furniture for the the studio. And I go to a, a furniture store. And what do you normally if I've in my you know history of going to furniture stores, which doesn't happen often, it's usually like an old man or an old lady older helping me out. No, nope, not today. It's like a 22 year old supermodel from Brazil or Fish. from Brazil. Where did you go? Uh, what is that place? Called? Mrs. Patio. Hopefully she's watching. But yeah, <laughs> I don't even know where Mrs. Patio is. It's a good. It's near Target. So I go there again, expecting just normal day. Nope, just gorgeous. Adriana Lima, a, a spawn of that. I think. Hey, how you doing? I'm just like, this is Why great. is she working there? I have no idea. Okay. This is just, this is somebody looking down and laughing at me going, oh, you are you have a date tonight. Well, here you go. So there's one already thrown in my face. Like, maybe you don't do this date. Here's a reminder why you're not. So then I go to Target because I didn't find what I needed. I go to Target. And, you know, Target is is known for, I think I've been in there. There's, there's attractive females in there. Uh... There's like, you know, Smith's kind of Whole Foods, probably like the Mecca of it. But it's so funny that guys like literally know this because I <laughs> oh, go to thing. Target and I don't fucking look at nobody. Well, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm there to shop, but world. like I'm also shopping. Women be shopping. <laughs> women be shopping. You cannot stop a woman from shopping. As yeah, well. I'm shopping in it's a couple of so ways. It's so interesting how guys <laughs> think of stores so differently. And I... This everywhere I went, every aisle, just a, a, an attractive woman. <laughs> what? I'm not kidding. This is oh, no, okay. no bullshit. It's just the universe again toying with me, just like a puppet up in the, up in just <laughs> in heaven. Just 
oh, here, we're going to throw her here, throw her here. As I'm doing this, I'm texting about the date, like, that's that's about about to happen. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm just kind of having, like, a, a breakdown of maybe this is a reminder not to do it again. And the last one, I go to Chevron and go to get gas. And right next to me is, like, really nice BMW. And I see another just supermodel driving it. I'm not kidding. And I'm going to get gas. Kevin, I get out with I'm you. I'm pumping gas. And she, what do you, what do you guys want to think in that moment? Like, I want to say something. You're not going to say anything. Everyone's getting gas. I'm not going to bother anything. What happens? She peeks around. Hey, hey, I, I need it. Can you help me? And something's going on with her pump. Like, it's not working. So I go over there. She's like, it's not working. Can you help me? And I'm over there. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pretending I know what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, you got to do the gasket and the barometer and flip it and yada, yada, yada. Oh, my God. And we end up, like, talking. I give her, like, a loser host. I give her my card, and I move on. But just as a reminder, this is just what's happening in my day. And, again, I think somebody up there, is, it was having a lot of fun with me. So, flash forward. I'm still in, though. I'm still committed. <laughs> Date's going to oh, happen. So, gosh. go home. Change. That's funny. Get ready. And now it's dating. So I'm in date mode. I'm ready, though. I'm prepared. I go to pick her up and, you know, I text, like, where you at? Where do you live? Get the address. The address is in California. <laughs> so that, that's already, yeah, that's what, that's the address I type in for, for maps. So it's in Cali, and she doesn't text me back. I'm like, so I'm going to Cali to pick you up? Like, this is where we're, this is what we're doing? I don't get a text back for like 10 or 15 minutes. I already kind of have the vicinity of where I need to go, though, so I start heading that way. Another sign, I think, of maybe this isn't supposed to happen. Oh, my Am God. I driving to California for this? So f- finally get the date or get the uh, the address. So I show up, and I'm late. But, you know, again. But you also didn't have the address. I didn't have the address. So I don't, you know, she's Were you on give- time before that? I would have been a little bit late. Now it was later. Okay. okay. So I'm just, I'm prefacing that because I already know, I know, I know her. She's going to, she's going to try and attack certain things. That's why I'm late. But do whatever. you open her car door when you pick her up? A hundred percent. Yes. Have to. Got to do this date right. So I show up, uh, I, you know, I want to do it classy and, and go to the door, but she lives in a, she lives in an apartment, so. I don't know which, you know, you don't know which building That's it fine. is. As long as you open the car door, I really judge people based on that. <laughs> so, yeah, I call her. I'm like, hey, I'm outside. You know, come out. Um, shows up. Looking, just smoking. Okay. What is she wearing? Uh, she's wearing, it's it's not a dress, but I think it was a dress. It was all black mm-hmm. with some nice heels. Mm-hmm. Looking great. Mm-hmm. You can see the effort, you know, and I think that goes into. What were you wearing? I'm wearing. Um, what was your effort level? Like some jogger pants, but like trendy and olive color, kind of mm-hmm. like this, like, like uh, that. Uh-huh. And uh, a nice, like, button up shirt. What color is your button up? Black? It is, yeah, bluish black. You wore like, blue and green. I did. I knew you'd hate it. I was going to go gray, which is definitely what it was a way better decision, but the blue one spoke to me. But it was like dark blue. It was like very dark blue with black little logos Specs on it. it. Yeah. I'll show you a picture. I don't yeah. know if I, yeah, we'll get pictures. You can judge it from that. I definitely <laughs> You're need You're judging to. hard. I am. <laughs> I'm liking her fit and I'm hating yours. She looked great though. And so my opinion on, you can tell right away how, how things are going to go for a date or just anything in general in life, but especially a date just okay. on like how much effort was put in to how like their attire and, and how okay, they're Okay, in the future, looking. just black is always the safest. You just all black, like your dress for your funeral, it's safest. Because especially, as no matter. As a female or just No, anybody. as a male, I'm telling you. Okay. Because, or even just like gray slacks and a black shirt. Great. Or yeah, tell like. The peop- tell the people this. They need to hear it. Uh, no, seriously, I'm serious. Because okay. I literally hate when I'm going out with somebody and my outfit is clashing too much. Mm. Like, it, uh, it's probably my OCD. But I just fucking hate it. But if you're wearing black, she can wear any color, and it's still you guys are still gonna look great standing next to each other. But if your outfits are clashing and you're standing next to each other, that shit bothers me on a date because it's like, okay, we're already clashing. Like to me, it seems like we're not even like fitting. Vibing, wow. Right. 
I just went in the closet and just pulled. I know. And yeah, I don't didn't do know. That. There's so much thought. There is. I could see. Here's the thing. I could tell how much thought she put in. And for me, though, that well, was black is always safe because exactly if she's wearing black, it mm -hmm. goes. If she's wearing pink, it you can do it like she can wear any range. But as long as you're neutral, like it works. OK. And you're thinking the blue with the green wasn't neutral. Absolutely. <laughs> not. I'm yeah, like, I as mean, soon as you said joggers, I was cringing. I was so like, maybe, this, she's in heels and a dress and you fucking chose joggers. It was trendy. Like hipster, hipster. As joggers. soon as you said trendy, I knew it was a color. That's how I literally was like, what color was it? Because as soon as you said trendy, I was like, well, that doesn't mean they were black. And that's means why he was, you're here. Yeah. And that's why you're sitting right here. Yep. You're the expert on this. I'm this trying. I'm true. doing my best. You know, I'm just pulling at straws here. Just trying to figure this out. God, I didn't even <laughs> know the date was happening. I didn't even know oh, the, date no, was yeah, happening. Didn't. the day after he goes, guess what I did last night? And I was like, what? And he was like, oh, I went on a date. And I was like, uh, um, <laughs> Okay, so I didn't even get to give advice on what to wear. I was already well. I was already ready for you to Shred hear who it was, and and you were to just shut it down. So I just I had to do this on my own. I had to be a big boy and just do this one on my own, and and get this get the ball rolling. Okay, well next time. Well, let me make sure. Uh, okay, cool. We're still good on time. Okay. Uh, she said four minutes. So let's see how prompt she is. Um. Okay, well talk faster. No, it's fine. Like we're we're, we're flowing. She likes music. She'll. <laughs> jam out in the car. Okay, okay. She'll get herself in the mood. So, um, so where are we at? So, so she's in her outfit. You open the door. I for open her. the door. I had str I had trouble with these these new cars are they're not easy. So I'm trying. I know she's trying going to try and open the door before me and not let me do it because by the time wait know, were you standing outside of the car to open the door? I was okay. Well, like, but, but no, I was like as I stopped, she was already like surprise camp coming up. So I tried to get out in time. But she was already there, so it was a weird mix. Like I said, older car would have been easy because I have the key. The door is locked, so now I have them in this like cat and mouse game where I'm like, I got to do this right. Don't open the damn door. I got to go unlock it. But I know she's gonna try and open it if I unlock it. You know what I'm saying? She's stubborn mm -hmm. like that. So I go over there. Whatever. We find. We get her in the damn car. Mm -hmm. But I did open it. It was classy, and I had a little gift for her on the uh, on the seat. Wow. Waiting. What was it? Oh, that you can ask her that. It was uh, nice. It was nice. It was just like a snack. It was, it was good. A snack. Okay. It was a snack. Just something I know she like that she told me she liked before. Is so. it candy or is it like food? It's a cookie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Continue. How do you feel about that? Well, you're going to dinner. I know, but it's just it's just a gesture. It should have been flowers. But continue. I, well, I, I can go with a snack, yeah. but it's you're nice, going though. to dinner. It's a surprise. Hey, it was still a thought. <laughs> okay, proud of you. So continue. get in the car. And we start driving, and I'm a huge fan. Not that I'm in this situation very often, but you got to ease the tension quick. So what I like to do is play some up, very upbeat music that's people you can everyone knows you can sing along to, and I just make a complete fool out of myself quick. Roll the windows down, turn the music up, and make an ass out of yourself. It puts them at ease. Hmm. So, like... Drake, like Miss Me by Drake. That's a good one because mm -hmm. she's really into hip hop. I was going to say she's a Drake she, fan. She's yeah. a huge Drake fan. Um, so do that. Start like, I think I can rap. I probably can't, but in the <laughs> car and in the shower, I can, I guess. Yeah. So you just do that. It eases, it eases everything. Ice break breaker, you could call it. Yeah. And I think, you know, you make a fool out of yourself and... Your toe's still hurting. I'm like Sorry. literally wiggled it because I was trying <laughs> to fix my fucking flip flop and I'm dying. But yeah, so that's I I would give advice. I think that's good. I she was laughing, then she yeah, starts, yeah. you know, just I actually I it just gave me flashbacks to somebody I used to hang out with in high school who I was like obsessed with. And that's always what he did. He would put on something and we'd just like start yeah. jamming out that, right away. That's the vibe. You just don't want to get in and then it's like, How was your oh, day? Yeah. And you know Well you, you have to save stuff to talk about at the date too. That's true. See, you know, um, as so we're driving and um, we get near the restaurant. We went to Golden Steer, mm -hmm. one of the best restaurants in town. Recommend. I've Trust me been. on that. It's yeah. You're I'm missing take out. Take myself today. Take Just yourself. Kidding. You're in your toe. Have your toe. Ew, taken. God. And, uh, we. No, I need wine. But as we're going, this is just a weird story that happened. This guy like. You know, you're trying not to fuck up. Like, she's in the passenger seat. You're just trying to get there safe. You don't want to be... And we're kind of late to the reservation because of the L.A., California thing. And I'm just notoriously late. 
And this dude mm-hmm. just on Sahara slams on his brakes in front of me. And I'm thinking I fucked up because, you know, like I'm maybe following too close. No, no one's in front of him. Slams on his brake and then darts across four lanes of traffic, hits the curb by the bus stop. And the, <laughs> the car just like starts smoking. And I see him like freaking out in the car. And we and her are looking at each other like, what the fuck? Like, what the Dude, fuck? Dude, the drivers have been exceptionally wild down there. Yeah, I mean, I don't when know. When I get off work, people, I'm terrified. I don't think people are used to being out in the, in, in the wild. They've been cooped up too Dude, long. Dude, they so are now they're, fucking they're out. crazy but right my, now. But I bring that up just because I, I, I made a Again, joke. Again, another thing. Well, I made a joke and I was just, well, another thing. You could say that. Yeah, another reason I shouldn't be here. But I made a joke to her, like, just like a wedding. If it rains, that's good luck, right? Yeah. So I'm like, we almost just died. That's got to be like a good omen to this, right? And I don't know how she took that, but whatever. <laughs> we'll I thought it was out. good. We'll and out. then uh, I'm late. I, she'll mention the driving. I, I, I have a certain, I, I drive pretty fast. So we, we get there though yeah. and um, uh, open the door again, even getting out, open the door. Go to the front, open that door, being very respectful, trying to be a gentleman. Good. I judge me. If I have to touch a door in the presence <laughs> of a man, I'm pissed. She didn't touch one door. Good. I don't think she did. It's a, you'll hear her account. I don't think she touched the door. Okay. Um, so we go in, and this place isn't easy to get a reservation for. And uh-huh. I came up with this idea like the day before. Because this, I don't know how me and her ended up actually going on a real date. How did you get a reservation the day before? It's like a nightmare everywhere. I Ultimate shout out drinks. Bailey okay. over at Cutter or uh, not Cutter. See my head, where my head is uh, over at Steer. Mm. Uh, I don't know who she was, but oh. she was a sweet hostess. And I just started talking to her. And I was like, you know, just trying to feel her out. And, and uh, things went well. And, mm. I was, and we I ended up getting uh, Kevin the schmoozer. I got like a nine fifteen reservation. But then we, the, we were supposed to go eat at eight. And she's like, just show up. Like, well, I, you know, I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. Go in. Um, what is it? The maitre d'? Is that what I call him? The, the main guy? I think that's what it's called. Uh, slipped him a little, you know, slipped him a little money on the side. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, we're in the John Wayne booth. Mm-hmm. They all have their own. There's a Frank Sinatra booth, a, a Joe DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio actually has two booths there because he used to have it next to Marilyn Monroe. And then they broke up. I think this is all facts. And then they broke up. <laughs> I think this uh, I think is that's all facts the right people I'm going with. And then yeah. he got another booth out in the other area, like way away from her. Mm-hmm. So it's real cool though. It's just like you have like yeah, a lots taste, of history. A lot of big taste of like old Vegas. Yeah. So we got the John Wayne booth. She gets excited that we're in the John Wayne booth. I'd like you guys to ask her if she even knows who the fuck John Wayne is. There's no chance. <laughs> Obviously if she got excited. I don't know. I don't know. Or I, think, think, I think I was excited you. and oh. she's just like, oh, that's great. I don't even know if she knows who Tom Hanks is, let alone uh, John Wayne. So you're going to have to ask her. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. So um, let me think of, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to think if I fucked up or had any errors, yeah. but I think other than the dude almost killing us in the, uh, in the highway, I think at this point I'm, ro- I'm rolling. Yeah. Things are going well. Okay, so, um, She's, uh, I, I, I should text her, but I think she'll be all right. We'll wrap this up soon. We'll get you're, her in here. You're really dragging it on. I mean, half of it was <laughs> half of the things that happened before the fucking date. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, it's, it's what I think of on an actual date. Like, it's what happens. So then we're there. Um, waiters are great. Everything's flowing. Um, What's the drink of choice? Uh, I am doing. Jack. Uh, no, I did a go- the Golden Steer, which was like their specialty cocktail. Was it bourbon though? It was. I think it was. It was a bourbon. Yeah, good call. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, she did a tequila soda, which I'm already like pumped. I'm not saying you have to drink, but it's just like it's good to be like, okay, cool. We're like we're hanging out. We're we're at ease. It's not like oh, I have a. I'm on a juice cleanse. I can't drink right now. Like that's nice to not. I don't. I already to told you. Whoever's going on a date with you has to be able to be <laughs> drinking. Yeah, you know, you just you, that's probably a good idea. You should be drinking right now. But the toe. <gasps> I should be, I know, but I would have to take pain meds. It. Yeah, so I have to wait, even though the pain meds are not in my possession yet, <laughs> as much as I wish they were. And hey, I know I'm being specific, but with the date, but I just I want to give like the insides of what I think everyone's thinking on an actual first date. Yeah, and this is what's going through my head, especially because I've never like this is all pretty new to me. So we, uh, yeah, we get the food. The food's amazing. They make the Caesar salad right by, right by the, uh, right by the table. That's the, they're, we're killing it. 
I think the conversation's going well. Again, this is all on my account. I don't know what's yeah. happening on earth. I can't wait to I hear I think hers. everything's going very well. Uh, we do dessert. Do a little chocolate cake. Okay. She didn't even want it, but I'm like, no, nah, fuck it. Like, let's go for it. Yeah. Get the chocolate cake. And maybe you don't want the, you know, maybe you don't want the Oreos mm. that I got you. Or that's what it was. It was Oreos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so it was good. Um, I paid. Obviously. I think you should. You know, guys no out there. Shit. I know we're 2021. We're trying to do equality, but pay for the damn meal. You know, do do a, a first nice date. Gesture. If a guy is like, "Are you paying?" It's the first date. Do you want? <laughs> no. They should, and I I, I, I did. I have been taken. I on took dates. out a loan before, just in case. I'm like, I don't know if we're gonna be getting like three bottles Wild, of wine. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. Just in case, why not? No, I think it's good like to go on a couple dates with somebody, and then you pay for somebody. Like I went on a few dates with somebody. And it, I ended up, like, kind of in my own head keeping track of, like, how much it was. Because I was like, oh, fuck, this has been, like, a lot. And so then eventually I was like, let me take you out. Like, I'll take us Ooh. on an expensive date. Yeah, and then, like, did a bottle of wine and stuff. And it's like, okay, yeah. Like, once and you, you get to it. that point. Yeah, then, 100%. Yeah, then, yeah like so I was like, I'll take care of it. Like, I, you're not going to look at the bill. Like, I'm going to take care of it. Whatever. Third, fourth date. I'm going to, I think the questions later, I'm assuming there's going to be one of these questions I'm going to. Give a little tidbit of, of how the paying went, though. But no, we'll, there's we'll, no paying questions. Now's the time. Uh, I'm assuming there's something like something. How, did something go bad? There's <laughs> got to be something like that, right? Got to. But be. not about paying. Ah, but that's what it's going to be. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, fine. We'll wait. So, um, yeah, paid, and then we're leaving. It's like 10:40 or something like that. And so it's still pretty early, but I'm thinking, let's, you know, let's go home. This is a great date. Let's not push it and overdo it. Let's not like hit another spot. We're driving home. I didn't mention this. This was on July 4th. Mm -hmm. I forgot about this. We did a date on July 4th, which was like just kind of odd in itself. It's a holiday. Most people are just at home barbecue and doing fireworks. Nope. Do it on July 4th. So as I'm driving home or as we're driving like back to her place, I see the fireworks, like one firework going on. I remember I saw a uh, that the fireworks go off on the strip at 11. Mm-hmm. And this is like fate is just intervening. It's like 1048, 1050. I swing by Mandalay Bay, go on the roof, literally park at like 1057. And then, and then the whole show went off. The show. We, oh. we're <laughs> watch the show. Just don't move. Oh, my God. I got to get you an ice pack or something. Oh, my fucking Christ. Okay. I'm going to be careful over there. Uh, so, yeah. Fuck. We're literally, fireworks are actually happening. Not just in my head that it's going well. There's literal fireworks going I on. I fucking it was so rom- it was so ro- It was so romantic. Like, I don't know how you beat that. Okay, so you're like snuggling or like, were you in the car or out of the car? We're out of the car. Okay. Are we you sitting on your car or no? You're just uh, We go up to like the... The, the wall, railing, of yeah. the railing overlooking, and we can see all of the strip. Mm-hmm. And man, just talk about nailing a date. It was just perfect. Okay. Um, was that your intention on 4th of July? No, honestly, this was just like, I was going to take her home. Cause I, I, I had no, my, but what was, what was the point of doing it on 4th oh, of July? Oh, it was just, we were both available that day. Oh. I wanted to get I wanted to get this thing rolling, and everyone's asking me, where's this episode? And I'm like, let's just get this going. Okay. Sunday, okay. we were both were free. Um, and I took advantage of, of fireworks, fireworks going. Yeah. So it cool. went good. Um, I saw so many things on fire that night. <laughs> I went to houses, a lot. freaking palm trees. Like I can't even believe how many fires there ended up being like it's so many people were doing fireworks this year, like all over the Valley. It was insane. It was everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, we were at dinner. But and normally out, it's yeah. everywhere, but like it was so much more extreme this year. I feel like than any of the other years. Again, just like I said, the guy that was going nuts in his car, everyone's just, you know, Losing everyone's just it. happy to be out and, and wild and free. Yeah, I guess so. Did you see that hockey player that just died because of it? I did. That's unfortunate. This is going a depressing route. Okay, yeah. sorry. I just am no, like it's fine. baffled by 4th of I July s- this year. I saw it. Okay. Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, we piece. can move you know, on. Okay, yeah, R.I.P. Um, Respect. We, uh, so yeah, we were on the roof, and you said snuggle. Yeah, like some some snuggling, you can call that. Yeah, there's definitely chemistry going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I we fireworks end. 
again, I don't want to keep her out too late. I'm trying to do it right. Try and keep it at, like a respectful You're date. You're also trying to get to cut her. <laughs> Yeah, damn, you know me too well. <laughs> I know that's what you yeah. think. You're like, okay, so still can get there in enough take time. Her, so then Goes get in the car, get back in the car, uh-huh. head home, go back to her place. Not like it sounds. Go, you go inside? No. Uh, so get out, open the door again, walk her to the door, and PG-13 ending. Okay. Ended at the door. Not okay. even PG, probably PG, actually. I think that would, mm, that would clear. I would say 13. Yeah. We don't know what happened. Well, there was kissing, <laughs> was there not? There was a, you there have was a, dick, a kiss. So I know you're well enough. <laughs> there was a kiss. Okay. It was like a, heavy kiss. It was passionate, very okay. passionate. Like okay, this so the definitely thirteen PG thirteen then. Okay, you could say that, yeah. If it, you're using the little word hand, passion, I'm gonna little, go with the yeah. Little handsy, yeah. You passionate. use the word passion <laughs> in PG. I don't think so. So it was to the point of we should probably go inside, but no, that's. Again, I wanted to do it the first date right. Like how I just wanted to have a respectful date. That's the only okay. reason. Like John asked before, <laughs> did you jerk off before or no? <laughs> I didn't. No, I did not. I worked that day. It was uh I saw enough that day at work where maybe I should have. But yeah. <laughs> but no, I didn't. I uh I just, you know, got home and, and, and went straight to the date. Okay, okay. Um and yeah, that's uh texted. I think we uh, you know, everyone's always like, Text me when you get home. So yeah, we did a. Uh, Little little Nightcap. little texty texts yeah. uh, at so home. Didn't go home, but yeah. I was at yeah. I went to John Cutter for a little bit home after, away from home. which was just you know it's a guy's night. It was a guy's way to finish it. It was yeah. a good little nightcap, and uh, went home. And and you met up with our other counterpart who is here today. Oh shit! Yeah, good segue. You're so welcome. That was a huge segue. Yeah. So all right. So what we're gonna do real quick though? I'm supposed to do the questions but i think i'm just gonna answer oh. no this is too long so I, we're gonna still do it i'm gonna answer mine just because you're gonna ask the same exact questions to her so uh-huh. i'm just gonna answer mine off off camera okay and then it's, we'll just it's gonna be legit that. though like i don't know what these questions are i'm gonna answer them very truthful and then when she comes on you guys are gonna get these exact same questions but great segue go to the segue let's do okay, this okay so our counterpart who's taking over for kevin today since kevin's technically a guest is the one and only Corey Wozniak. Corey J. Wozniak. This is J. a huge Wozniak. this is a huge moment. This is I've waited to do this moment with the two of them for like over a year. Like this I've wanted the, this moment this for a is long the, time. How would I even this is like the second coming of Howard Stern and <laughs> mixed with Hugh Hef mixed with like thirty different guys that I that I could even name. And this is a I huge, liked the Who Hef one. I liked that, that, that one too. This is a huge just gold mine where where I'm gonna probably just get replaced. So this so this is Honestly, a big it's a big gamble it. on mine. But we're very excited. So let's bring him on. Yeah, let's do it. Mr. Corey J. Wozniak. <laughs> Ooh, we, got, we got clapping going on. Yes. Here. Round of applause. I'm not standing though. I gotta go. Okay, bye. I'm, I'm being replaced. You are. Let's get him in here. My other favorite person. We're not doing it right now, are we? 